Hello, my name's David Davis, and I'm going to talk to you about Helios Ecolab. We aim to explore new sustainable ways of living that offer a win-win for you and the planet. Starting with our name, Helios comes from the Greek word for sun, which is appropriate because we're in Greece with around 250 sunny days a year, making it perfect for powering the house, the car, hot water, heating and growing the plants we eat. The sun indirectly powers the wind, which makes the wind turbine turn. But above all, solar energy is renewable and does not pollute, and therefore consistent with our aim to stop burning fossil fuels now. Eco also comes from the Greek word for ecology and is a much overused and abused word. In our context, Eco means man's interaction with the planet that works with the natural systems, such as recycling bio-waste to increase our food yield that enriches the soil rather than degrades it. Environmental degradation is all around us, from the sea to the soil to the atmosphere to the extent that our existence is in danger. Business as usual is not an option. Lab is for laboratory. We don't wear white coats and work in sterile environments, but we do design, make and install renewable energy systems, recycle materials and products, grow our own food and constantly innovate. We advocate a hands-on, bottom-up, decentralised approach that solar systems allow. We cannot expect governments to solve the climate crisis on their own without us. And to quote Robert Swan, the biggest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. The six areas we focus on are one, energy, that's solar photovoltaic for electricity, solar thermal and wind, but also thermal energy storage and electrical energy storage in batteries, which brings us to the second category, electric mobility, which includes electric bikes, electric cars, with huge batteries that can power a house and the grid, as well as drive us around in a low maintenance and sustainable manner. The third sector is habitat, where we advocate designing suitably insulated, attractive, passive buildings that consume little energy to run and to build. This includes rainwater harvesting, and exploiting nutrients from what is normally drained or thrown away. Fourth, and possibly the most important category, is food. We promote and exploit permaculture techniques for enriching our soil and minimising water usage, supporting biodiversity, which includes the wildlife that pollinates our plants. We use no chemical fertiliser or pesticide. The fifth sector is discovery, which is about sharing our learnings with the greater community through open days, running courses and seminars that also includes enjoying outdoor pursuits. Well-being, community and fulfilment are central to sustainability. And six, lastly, is innovation, which creates new methods, processes, materials, recipes and products. But above all, we want to stress that not everything we recommend is super high tech and expensive. In fact, the opposite is more true. The tech we do recommend gives a substantial payback over its lifetime. Low tech techniques offer huge benefits, save money and resources. In fact, just simple behavioral change like avoiding single use plastics Choosing recyclable or returnable products is good for your pocket and good for the planet.